Hey Aquarius, thank you so much for coming to your weekly love reading. This should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Those of you guys that are cross-watching, welcome. This can either be your situation or your partner's. It just depends on who's watching the reading. Um, a lot of times the energy will be flipped, but the situation will resonate or resonate. Um, also too, if you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post my readings. Um, and with that being said, guys, let's hop into your reading for Aquarius. All right. Who's Aquarius dealing with romantically? Who is Aquarius's partner or person of interest romantically? Okay. Prince of Cups. You guys possibly can be dealing with a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or a Gemini. You guys are like, how the fuck did she get Gemini? Just trust me on this. Um, what is, how, do, how does uh, Aquarius feel about this person romantically? Okay. The strength card. They can also be a Leo or have Leo in their chart. What is, um, what does Aquarius feel like is the situation between the two of these guys? Okay. Five of wands. There's some type of fighting that's going on, possibly over a Leo. What, um, what is an external influence here or block for Aquarius and their person of interest? Prince of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. More so, I, I feel like Princes are always the mutable signs, right? So that's definitely Gemini and princes are also air signs. So even if you have a prince of cups, it's also equivalent to air. So I'm just, that's how I read my cards, okay? And I'm saying this because there's some people who are learning tarot or reading tarot. And I think it's kind of cool if you guys can see a different view of how some people read them, all right? All right, what's the best potential outcome with love and romance? Best potential outcome, love and romance. Woo. Three of cups. Okay. Cancer. Communications. Here's the thing. I do feel like there's probably more than one person here. Either you're dealing with more than one person or your partner's dealing with one person. I do think that there is an ending to the mixing of whatever is going on here, either with the Scorpio or Sag. Um... It could be an ending to a friendship. Maybe somebody is a friend or a fuck buddy and you understand like you have to cut them cut them off because it's just not going anywhere. Um, I mean, it literally can be a transformation between something going from a friendship to something else. But I do feel like for whatever reason, there is more than one person here. With the Prince of Cups, can you give me more information on um, Aquarius's person of interest? Romantically, characteristics, please. For Aquarius. Okay. Five of Pentacles, possibly um, this person may feel left out or may have been left out prior. Um, this person, and that's definitely Taurus energy, but they may have felt like they had to leave the situation for whatever reason. Because the Five of Pentacles is all about kind of being by yourself, being alone. Um, they feel like there's just, there's no way to deal with this, right? Um, also too, this is Mercury and Taurus. So it's definitely the need to communicate in a manner that I don't want to say necessarily possessive, but it's very much like it's, it's, it's that very like fixed energy. So this person also could possibly, um, feel like because like there's a level of stubbornness, maybe like they didn't get exactly what they wanted. So they felt the need that they had to walk away. More information on this Five of Pentacles, please. For Aquarius and the person of interest. King of Pentacles, Taurus or Leo. This person definitely can make more money or be like a boss or somebody in, in control of a large corporation. Um, I definitely feel like this person, okay, and I am going to say this, I, I do think that they're that that with with the prince of cups and all these pentacles it's like this person gives you what they want like emotionally they have the ability to communicate it to you you know they're somebody who i think is a little bit uh challenging and i also feel like they're very giving right they're very their energy is very masculine so logical uh willing to take a risk very active 
um, competitive in some sense, but I'm gonna be honest, because you have the Prince of Cups with the King of Pentacles, I feel like these are two different people. So I feel like one is younger and one is um, older than you or your same age. One is more financially well off, but um, has that fixed energy, very practical, stable, focused, while the other one is um, <laughs> that air energy, that mutable, very adaptable, open-minded, intuitive, has the ability to change, can be a little bit deceptive. Why are you showing me two different people for Aquarius? The sun, okay, Leo, like I said. Um, you can be having to choose which one is best, like matters of the heart here. Why are you showing me two different people for Aquarius? Six of Wands, that's also Leo. This is Leo and Jupiter. It's like, I feel like for whatever reason, um, let's do this because this is how I feel, all right? So you have this King of Pentacles over here with all this fixed energy, okay? Six of Wands is definitely fixed energy. These are your two different people you're dealing with. One is very prideful. One is out in the public. People may see him, him or her, I should say. Um, they look good. They smell good. They are attractive in the sense because they they have the ability to offer multiple different things to you. And I think that they provide a level of security that you're looking for. Anything else you want to tell me on this fixed energy for this person? Anything else you want to tell me on the fixed energy for Aquarius's person of interest? Okay, King of Cups, possibly a Scorpio, or this person also has Leo as their secondary Leo, um, or they can be like a Scorpio, Rising, Moon, or Venus, um, but this is definitely somebody who's older. This is that somebody that's definitely more settled down and more mature. Um, I do think that because this energy is fixed, they can be stubborn and egotistical at times, and I think that that's maybe why you're not as happy, okay? Also too, there's a level of routine here that may get boring, I'm gonna be honest. And they may be a little bit tough, and this person does has, have very, very strong emotions. One card for this, the ones that are coming up as the kings. Um, okay, so you have the Knight of Swords, so Definitely, they may have Gemini in their, in their chart as well, but it's a very masculine energy. This person is very giving and caring. Um, I do feel like this person is somewhat domineering. I think that there's multiple people that are watching or do want this person because you see all these people off to the side watching him um, spank her ass. It's almost like this person has a need to physically control a situation. Okay, so this is person A. Then you have person B here, which is this Prince of Cups. Give me more information on the Prince of Cups, please, for Aquarius. This is somebody I think that you've been with for a period of time. You guys have invested, you know, time in. You know, I think that you're in a process where you're trying to figure out whether or not this is a reliable situation or if you should abandon ship and hop over to this person. More information on the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, Ten of Wands. I think that you and this person have definitely been through a lot. I'm going to be honest. I do feel like because the Ten of Wands is here, this is definitely Sag. This energy, this is that, like I said, this is this mutable energy. And as much as I think you like the idea of things constantly changing and being unpredictable, I feel like at times it's just too much with this person. And I feel like there's either a conclusion or some type of transformation that needs to happen here. Because I, I feel like for whatever reason, it's like you guys continue to like pull, right? And it's like you're attached to one another, but it's just becoming exhausting. And it's almost at that point where someone's ready just to like, just say, fuck it. And that could be what's happening. More information on this prince. Cups, please. Aquarius. Queen of Swords, possibly a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. This person can be very cold. They have ability to play the mind games. This can also be somebody with a Cancer Moon, 
uh, Venus or rising or a Cancer themselves. This person does have that need to control situations, um, possibly even Gemini. But it's like they weave this web. It's like they have ability of like spinning things in the right manner. I think you and this person definitely because uh, you guys will have a lot of back and forth, right? Because they're very like, they pop off quick. I do get that. Also too, it's like, like they'll say something and then they'll just like walk away. Like, go ahead. You can sit there and think about that. And I do think that this person, like I said, I do think that they stimulate you um, mentally, right? But I do think that there's a lot of back and forth here with, with, with them. More information on this person. This, whoa. Yeah, three of pentacles reversed. It's almost like you feel like this relationship just isn't necessarily working. It's not going in the right direction. Okay, maybe this relationship started very quickly and it ended. Okay, because you do have the page of um, pentacles here. It's like this person isn't necessarily offering you a lot, maybe nothing in a physical sense, but they stimulate you. But I also feel like too, it's like they'll offer something, but it's very inconsistent. It's a very inconsistent energy. Knight of Cups, right? And it's almost like they play that game with, well, what do you mean? Who me? Like, well, you know, you need to come here. Like it, it's almost that feminine type of energy with that knight because that knight of cups um can be like i said gemini or uh pisces but it's interesting because like this person goes back and forth it's like you know um they express themselves but then they're quiet or it's like they give, but then they expect to receive. It's like they make certain things, but then they pretend like they're submissive. Like, okay, well, whatever you want to do, knowing good and goddamn well, they care about what's happening. Um, I think that at times this person comes off as extremely content and sensitive. And then other times they come off completely different. It's weird, but it is more of like a feminine energy where this is more of like a masculine energy. I do want to say that. Very opposites here. How you feel is strength. Uh, give me more information on how Aquarius feels about the situation. Six of Cups. Okay. Um, possibly somebody, somebody that has to do with the kids. Uh, Leo, Scorpio. You may be reconnecting with somebody from your past, right? If it's not this situation, it's this one over here. Or, you know, there's, because you're dealing with multiple people, I'm going to be honest, it's really fucking hard to pull on this. Or because there's multiple energies coming up for you guys. And it could be you're with somebody, but you're thinking about somebody else. I just feel like you're very defensive over right now over something pertaining to, you know, your emotions, your feelings, something, some, you're very fixed right now, very persistent. It's like, no. This is what it is, right? More information on how Aquarius feels about this, about the situation, about these people. Okay, Ace of Swords. You can have a level of clarity here with, with you know, a level of truth or a level of honesty on who exactly you need to offer something to. The all gifted. Um, how does Aquarius feel about this king? Okay, Princess of Wands. I think that you're highly um, attracted to this person. I think sexually, I think physically, you know, you and this person definitely hit it off for whatever reason. And I think that this person, you feel like it's a brand new beginning, right? It's things that are opening up. And I also feel like for this situation, you are okay kind of taking a back seat and allowing this person to control the situation. Yeah, as I said that, King of Cups, Scorpio. Like, there's a level of satisfaction here that comes with this person, emotionally, physically, everything in that sense. What do they like about the, about the king's energy? What do they like? Okay. It's queen of swords reversed. 
you, the, you like the fact that they're not your current partner. They're completely different. I think that this person doesn't play mind games with you. I think that, you know, they don't have you constantly thinking and wondering what the fuck it is. And I think that you really, really do um, see a lot with this person, especially since they're coming up as that strong ass king energy. What what is Aquarius not like about about the kings? Do they not? What was Aquarius not like about them? The fact that they're not willing to change. Okay, it's like maybe there there's something. Their energy is too fixed, maybe because they have like you know the fire, water, and earth that is all fixed energy. Like if you ran their natal chart, I bet you money that it'd be mostly fixed, right? Um, that there's not enough change. There's not enough, one more time. What does Aquarius not like about this person romantically? What does Aquarius not like about this person? Nine of Pentacles, maybe that they work too much. Maybe about the fact that, you know, they want to spend too much time with you, which I think is a little bit exhausting. It's like, no dog, we still need to keep our own separate lives. Like I have my friends, you have your friends as much as I want to be connected. Like I still want to high five and you go to one room and I go to the other room. Like there's something here about them. This person wanting to control too much. What is, um, how does the Aquarius feel about this queen of swords or this prince, this, the second, the second party? Okay. The chariot, possibly cancer, uh, energy. I think for this person, you feel like, you know, they're very quick to, to say something. I think that they have a level of popping off. I think you guys have been going through the same thing over and over and over again. Um, justice, you possibly could be married to this person. Um, or it's a Libra, very cardinal energy. This person has very, very much cardinal energy, right? Sometimes they're inconsiderate. They feel like they need to dominate the situation. Um, one more part with how does Aquarius feel about the second party? Okay, two of cups. You may really love them. Pisces, Gemini, Cancer, guys could be, you know, in love. What is uh, Aquarius like about this? Okay, Eight of Cups. I think that you like the fact that when you pull back, this person comes running. That's what I think. I think that there's a, a cat and mouse game between you guys and this person, especially if they're an air sign that has, you know, heavy water in their chart. I think that you like that back and forth. I think you like the fact that this person is like, no, don't go. Like, they're not willing to let you go. They're willing to chase you. You know what I mean? Like, they're, they're, they're willing to, you know, do whatever it takes in order to, you know, gain your trust or get you back. That's definitely um, Pisces energy. But I also feel like, too, it's like despite, you know, and this could be, too, Despite how you and this person are, you know that this person is good for you and that maybe you guys are just going through like a weird rough time. Um, what is Aquarius not like about this person? Nine of Wands. You guys have just been fighting for too long. There's too much uncertainty here. Maybe this person is being very quiet with their feelings. It's like things are not necessarily progressing. It's constantly up and down with, with the two of you guys. Um, definitely with the nine of wands too, that's, that's moon and Sag. So it's like the need to feel, uh, free and it's like the need to be able to move however they want to move, but also too, especially when it comes to, um, this card, it's like the situation, you feel like you're being blocked for whatever reason by doubt. And I think that for you, it's taking too long to fix it's like not, it's this, this situation has been stuck for a period of time. And I think that you're just kind of over it. Now for the situation, you have the five of wands. Why are you showing what's causing the five of wands? Okay. The wheel of fortune change. Okay. Something is definitely changing. What's changing here? The prince of wands. Okay. So this party is changing possibly a Sagittarius or a Gemini. They're physically changing. 
they're um, seeking or being challenging or exploring. Um, how, wh why are they changing? Why is the Prince of Wands changing? Whoa. Because of the Two of Wands. This person can be more aggressive now with the fact that either they're talking, you're talking, there's, there's multiple people involved. Maybe this person is vocalizing it because the Two of Wands is Mars and um, Aries and that's how they go after love. So right now, I feel like this person is in their head thinking, but also now they're taking physical action against it. How does um, Aquarius feel about this? Ace of Pentacles. You feel like this person is finally making you that offer. Oh, it's the moon reversed. Maybe they're telling you how they feel. Cancer, uh, Pisces, they're not as defensive. They're opening up. They're more so willing to talk about what's hurt them. Okay. More, more information on the current situation or issue with Aquarius with love and romance. Okay, five of pentacles, right? Maybe they're expressing to you like, hey, I don't want to be left out anymore. There's a level of completion here. This is also Taurus. Whoa, judgment, possibly a child um, that's here. Maybe somebody is going to see their children or maybe a child is being born um, or it's just like incorporating something back into like their life. Somebody is being very open about a situation pertaining to something coming back around. Okay, because you do have judgment here. Pluto, Scorpio, maybe this person has Scorpio in their chart. Um, about traveling or going to see somebody. Why? Because of the devil. Maybe somebody feels betrayed or what's the energy of the devil? Nine of Swords. It's like there's just a level of distance here there's a level of mind games it's almost like this person is playing maybe this person is traveling to try to restore some type of harmony that that's been in between possibly with somebody with the gemini moon or uh sun moon rising or venus um the devil's here so you know definitely capricorn energy or scorpio i don't know why i'm getting scorpio strongly um the fool card you know, Aquarius, it can be you, the one that's walking away on a new journey, possibly with this person, because the fool is definitely Aquarius. One more card, please, on the situation for Aquarius and their person's interest. Three of Cups. There's just more than one person here. How does Aquarius feel about the Three of Cups? Ooh, the Ace of Cups. I think for you, it's a new offer, and I think it's exciting because it's something different, but I definitely feel like you know, either somebody is from a past that maybe you have children with or you are having a child with, and then there's somebody new that's here. And which one is which, I'm not exactly sure. All right. So as the external influence, you have the Prince of Swords with the Ten of Swords and the Hangman. This person feels very hurt and betrayed, right? That's definitely Gemini. And then you have the Hangman. So definitely Pisces energy. Could be that you're not intimate with one person because you guys had the big falling out. There was something that you understood or something that was said. It also could be that this party that's coming up with that prince energy, that mutable energy, whether it's uh, Gemini, Sag, or uh, Gemini, Sag, what, Pisces, or Virgo, even though I don't have a lot of Virgo energy here, um, I feel like they've said something. They said something or they found something. They were snooping around when like either they were like online, they were on your phone, they found something that really, really hurt them. And they may have said something to the other party and now they're suspended or they're stuck. It's like, Temperance, yeah, it's like 
now they may be taking a step back to try to like fix things, but they're not happy about what they found, right? And I think for them, it's like emotionally or, you know, that relationship with the two of you guys may be over. And um, you do have strength here. So could be over with a Leo, could be over with, but, but it could have been the fact that, you know, they're walking away because maybe this Leo is just too dominant or that fixed energy is just too strong. And as I said that, you have the four cups, right? It's like, this is a habit or a routine of what you guys go through. And it's a tower moment. Like, I feel like this isn't the first time that this has happened between the two of you guys. Um, and I just think that they're, somebody is, is, is over it. They're over, you know, being shut out and they're over being, you know, whatever is going on. Seven of Cups. It's just too many what ifs or a level of uncertainty. So I think that that's the issue. Now, again, this situation can be flipped. So Aquarius, it can be that your partner is dealing with more than one person. And something was found out. There was something that was definitely said here or something that was no, you know, like, <laughs> you know, because here's the reality, right? The Prince of Swords, you know, first of all, they're highly intelligent. Um, I think that they don't come across as smart as people realize, but their ability with technology is insane. <laughs> and it's like, all of a sudden, you know, they're somewhere, they find something from a while ago that you don't even realize. And I think it's because maybe there was a level of like, you, somebody was, you know, underestimated this person. And now with the Ten of Swords, it's like, it's a conclusion. It's like, this happened. What are we going to do? How are we going to move forward? You know, obviously the battle is over. What was said was said. And it's almost just like, you know, now this person is kind of in a shell and it's in this hangman shell. Now this can be you or your person, right? And it's like, you don't know what to do, but you know, you're not ready to talk or have a level of communication. I definitely feel like this person is not having sex with you. There's not a lot of intimacy and it's because they're in their head about the seven of cups. They're in their head about the what ifs, the uncertainty, the unreliability, just all these things are very heavy and troubling on them. You guys at the end have the three of cups. So this could be definitely a reunion. Um, this can be a celebration. This can be talking about your emotions or this can literally be that third party. For those of you guys that this has brought enough clarity, I love you guys and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.